Hello everyone, welcome to Zoology Classes. Today our topic is Animal Kingdom. This topic is taken from the chapter 4 from NCRT class 11th. Animals are the multicellular means that made up of many cells and heterotrophic means they depend on others for food. Animal Kingdom is more diverse than the plant kingdom. We know that the organism is starts from the cell. The cell is combined together from the tissues. Tissues combined together form the organs, and the organs combined together form the organ system, and then organism. This is called the scheme of organization. Here, we will learn about the levels of organization in the animal kingdom. Levels of organization. Based on the organization of the cell, there are three levels of organization. Number one cellular level of organization here as the word says cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates the body is made up of cells only and there is no division of labor and all the cells work differently in cylindrates or tenophores the level of organization is tissue level of organization the cells are arranged into tissues or here the cells are arranged into tissues so cells combine together and form the tissues here and the third one is in higher animals from platyhelminths to chordatus they show org level of organization in this level of organization tissues are arranged into organs and the organs are associated to form organs system each system performs a specific physiological functions the organ system of different animals show complexity. For example, the digestive system of nidarians and platyhelminths is incomplete. There is only a single opening in the alimentary canal, which opens outside. This is the opening for ingestion and ejection. There is a single opening. In other animals, there is complete digestive system having two openings, that is mouth and anus or colca. The circulatory system is two types, open and closed. The second character is body symmetry. It is the arrangement of similar body parts on two sides of the main axis of body. Based on symmetry, animals are two types, that is symmetrical and asymmetrical. Animal having their body parts in, arranged in such a manner that it is possible to cut the body in two similar halves by one or more plan are called symmetrical animals. On the other hand, some animals such as sponges, corals and snails are so highly irregular in form that their body cannot be divided into two equal parts by any plan. They are said to be asymmetrical. Symmetry is three types. In the slide there is two types, radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry, the other is spherical symmetry. Spherical symmetry is most shown by the eggs and the early embryos of some animals having a ball-like body these eggs and embryos can be divided into two similar halves by any plant passing through the center this is called spherical symmetry the radial symmetry the body can be divided into two similar parts by any plant along oral and aboral axes of body oral is the mouth side and aboral is the opposite side of the body this type of symmetry is shown by some Sponges, cylindrates, and echinodermata. Bilateral symmetry. This is important as our body also shows the bilateral symmetry. The body can be divided into two right and left halves by section passing through the longitudinal axes. All vertebrates and many invertebrates, such animals have. The animals which show such type of the symmetry have. The animal showing the bilateral symmetry has an upper or vertebral dorsal side, a lower ventral side, left and right lateral sides, anterior side and posterior side. In this slide there are two pictures that is a prawn and fish. They show the bilateral symmetry. The anterior head which remains forward during locomotion. The posterior one is termed as the posterior end. Or the opposite end of the anterior is called the posterior end. The surface of the body facing the substratum is called ventral surface, 
and the opposite one as a dorsal surface. The third character is germ layers, the layers of gastrula from which body organs are formed. What is the gastrula? When the fertilization takes place between the egg and the sperm, there is a formation of zygote. The zygote undergoes cleavage and forms the blastula. The blastula later forms the three germ layers known as gastrula. So the gastrula has three germ layers or the two germ layers. Based on the number of germ layers, animals are two types, diploblastic and triploblastic. Diplo, diplo means two, having the two germ layers. Two germ layers, ectoderm is the outer and inner endoderm. It is found in the sponges and sealant traits. And second one is triploblast, triplo means third, that is three, three germ layers, outer ectoderm, middle mesoderm, and inner endoderm. This type of germ layers are found in flight worms to mammals. The third character is coelom or the body cavity. It is a space between body wall and the gut. The body cavity or coelom is present only in the animals with two within two body plan. What is the two within two body plan? Having two openings that is the mouth and the anus. It is surrounded by the body wall. Between the body wall and the gut there is space that is called coelom. This cavity is filled with a fluid this is known as body coelom. On the basis of body cavity animals are of three types acylomate, serocylomate and eucylomate or true coelomate. If the coelom is present in animals they are called coelomates example annelida. If coelom is absent in animals they are called acylomates, example flight wormers. If coelom is present in animals, if false coelom is present in animals, it is called serocylomate, example round worms. Acylomate means no coelom. The space between the body wall and the cavity is spread with matrix that is a fluid called parenchyma. Such type of acylomates are found in porifera, cylindrates, and flat worms. Second one is serocylomates. It is a false. Here, blastocele becomes a coelom. It is not lined by peritoneal layer. That is very important. Example, round worm. Eucylomates are true coelomates. The coelom is in animals except the round worms arise from the mesoderm. Coelom is lined by peritoneal layer and filled with coelomic fluid, example annelidus to mammals. Some animals like arthropoda and mollusca, the true coelom is greatly reduced and the blood floods the space between the viscera. Such a body cavity is called hemocele and such type of coelom is called hemocelomates. Such type of animals are called hemocelomates. These are the three examples of coelomates. Number one is the planaria. They are acylomates. Their coelom is absent. Second one is the round worm, like the ascaris. There is a follow coelom is present. And third one is coelomates, coelomate. It is the earthworm, annelida, having the true coelom. Functions of coelom. It accommodates visceral organs, Coelom fluid provides moist environment to visceral organs, that is important organs which are present between the elementary canal and the body. It acts as shock absorber. Friction is minimized with the help of this fluid. Metamerism is one of the most important characteristics of animal kingdom. It is defined as the linear repetition of body parts. Each segment is called the metamere or somite. In some animals, the body is formed of similar parts, segments or metamers. This segmentation is called metamerism. It is found in the annelida, arthropoda. In vertebrates, only internal metamerism is found. Some animals like <coughs> tavern shows false metamerism or false segmentation. Notochord, it is a supporting rod formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Animals with notochord are called chordates 
and those without nodocor are called non chordates like porifera to echinodermata. These are the non chordates. Others are chordates.